Hi everybody, it's Ranger John at Charlestown Landing State Historic Site, and there's something missing from Old Town Creek. That's because our replica catch, the Adventure, has gone over to the Wando River for annual maintenance. Let's take a look at how it got there. Getting out of Old Town Creek and into the Ashley River proved to be the trickiest leg of the journey. The Adventure was facing upstream, and the towboat operator suggested taking it out in reverse rather than turning it around. The captain agreed and secured the tiller, the wooden device used for steering, to stabilize the rudder. The two towboats then worked together to conduct the adventure down the creek. Once we reached the Ashley, the towboat spun our vessel around so that the bow was facing in the right direction, downriver. At this point, we parted ways with our assistants and moved ahead under the power of the adventure's onboard diesel engine. Here, we had a good view of the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. The next milestone was getting through the double leaf draw bridges that allow Highway 17 to cross the Ashley. The captain radioed the bridge operators, and soon after, the leaves began to rise. The northern span is called the Ashley River Memorial Bridge. It was completed in 1926 and is dedicated to the South Carolina soldiers who lost their lives in World War I. The southern span, known as the T. Allen Legree Bridge, was installed in 1961 to meet increasing traffic demands. After negotiating the drawbridges, we had to contend with the James Island Connector. The timing of the tides was important here as we needed enough clearance to pass safely underneath. Our shipwright David Jones went aloft for a closer look. We had roughly six feet to spare. Continuing on toward the harbor, we paralleled Murray Boulevard at the southern tip of the Charleston Peninsula before passing White Point Garden and the famous Battery. As we rounded the peninsula and began heading up the Cooper River, we got our first full view of the iconic Ravenel Bridge, its towers and cables like colossal sails in the distance. On our starboard or right side, we could make out the ruins of Castle Pinckney, a fortification built on Chute's Folly in the early 1800s to protect the inner harbor. To our left, the steeples of historic churches and construction cranes punctuated the Charleston skyline as we cruised past Waterfront Park and then Liberty Square and the South Carolina Aquarium. Back to the east, we got a great view of Patriots Point in Mount Pleasant and its centerpiece, the aircraft carrier Yorktown which saw significant service in the Pacific during World War II. Then, a pelican took a plunge and snagged a quick bite to eat. At this point, we fell behind a container ship coming into the port of Charleston and followed it under the majestic Ravenel Bridge. Open to traffic in 2005, the Ravenel Bridge is engineered to withstand wind gusts of more than 300 miles per hour and earthquakes above seven on the Richter scale. This particular ship can carry up to 3,828 ton containers, meaning it has the cargo capacity of more than 3,100 adventures. All right, everybody, we've got a little bit of downtime. I'm standing here, Ranger John, by the way, with the park manager, David Baker. Uh, what do you think of the experience so far, David? I oh, mean, this is fantastic. It, uh, we had the best weather, uh, 65 degrees, clear skies, uh, very little wind. I think we have, what, six knot, mile, uh, six knot wind. Uh, it's just been a, the perfect day to be out here on the water and uh, experiencing Charlestown as the colonists experienced it back in 1670. All right, so now I'm talking with Ranger Gillian. You got to go aloft there on the shrouds a little while ago. I did, I did. Did you get some pretty cool shots from up there? Oh, beautiful shots, absolutely wonderful. The breeze was nice up there, the sunshine was bringing a bunch of warmth. It was 10 out of 10 views up there. So clearly you do not suffer from a fear of heights, right? Nope, just a fear of hitting the ground. <laughs> well done. As we entered the Wando River, park manager David Baker was at the helm making sure to keep us on course. I also had a turn at the tiller and discovered that you really have to lean into the job. After a pleasant cruise up the Wando, we finally reached the boatyard, where the captain and his crew safely docked the adventure, bringing an end to a truly wonderful experience on historic Charleston's waterways.